Hello everybody, how are you all doing? Hope you're having a great day today. The month of April brought with it some weird weather, didn't it? But it also brought a lot of news. But before we dive further into it, may I ask that you hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell. Would really help out a small YouTuber like myself. Now, let's get into the news. The restructuring at Sony Japan Studio, which will now coincide with Astro developer team Asobi, has resulted in a true exodus of talent. For example, Demon Souls' PlayStation 5 director Gavin Moore is closing the door at Sony after 24 years. Gravity Rush producer Yasutaka Asakura and character designer Shinsuke Saito, among others, are also leaving Sony. Ikumi Nakamura, in my eyes the true internet's girlfriend, who had left Tango Gameworks in 2019 due to a burnout, returns to the game industry with her own small development studio. The company does not have a name yet, but there is already a game in the making. For the second year in a row, E3 will not be taking place physically. Instead of a total cancellation as in 2020, there will be a digital alternative this year, and the show will be free for everyone to view. Gamescom is confident that by August, the Corona crisis will be sufficiently subdued for a hybrid conference. Some will be done digitally, but a limited number of visitors will also be welcome in the Cologne exhibition halls. Tokyo Game Show, on the other hand, will go fully digital this fall, just like E3. All keynotes and presentations broadcasted online will be subtitled in English. So far, Amazon has not had a lot of luck in the gaming industry, but that does not stop the internet giant from continuing its pursuit to a breakthrough. Amazon Games therefore set up a third studio in Montreal that is currently working on an online multiplayer title. CD Projekt has acquired Digital Scapes, the Vancouver developer that helped develop Cyberpunk 2077. Meanwhile, CD Projekt is reviewing its plans to develop a AAA Cyberpunk multiplayer game. Instead, they want to build an online framework to easily introduce multiplayer in all of their franchises. Let's hope they don't follow into the footsteps of Bioware. Documents submitted in the lawsuit between Apple and Epic show that Epic has already spent $444 million on exclusive deals for the Epic Game Store. This concerns guaranteed returns that Epic pays the developers, regardless of whether the sales of the game reach those amounts. Considering that all third-party games combined only fetched about $273 million on the Epic Game Store in 2020, Epic is far from recouping that investment. Fortunately, Epic can take a financial beating after the studio raised another $1 billion in investments. This includes $200 million from Sony. The company is now worth $28.7 billion. Creative Assembly has set up a third British studio in West Sussex, which will include motion capture recordings. This new location is desperately needed because the Total War developer was able to grow about 20% over the past year thanks to the success of the series. A small team within Sony had worked on a PlayStation 5 remake of The Last of Us, but didn't get enough funding to finish the project. Don't worry, the remake is not cancelled, it is now in the hands of Naughty Dog. Sony Bend was denied permission from Sony to start Days Gone 2. The studio was called in to develop a new Uncharted title under the watchful eye of Naughty Dog. But after dissatisfaction within the team, they are now working on their own project. 505 Games has bought the rights to Ghost Runner. This increases the chances for a sequel. Oli Oli World packs the excellent 2D skating gameplay of its predecessor and gives it a new 3D look. In Oxenfree 2 Lost Signals, you return to the island where you grew up to investigate a series of strange phenomena and radio signals. Like its predecessors, Beholder 3 revolves around a life in a dictatorial surveillance society. However, the threequel takes place in a different era. Shadow Tactics Blades of the Shogun Aiko's Choice is a standalone expansion set in Japan's Edo period. You play as Aiko, who has immersed herself in the art of camouflage. Retro shooter Ion Fury is getting an expansion called Aftershock. In addition to a completely new adventure, it also offers the option to play the original campaign with new enemies and weapons. 
Asterix and Obelix slap them all as a 2D beat em up starring the Gallic Resistance heroes. The characters were drawn by hand to match the look of the comics as closely as possible. Rocket League Sideswipe will be the debut of the car combat series on mobile platforms. The action will be viewable from a side view. Developer Cloud Chamber is looking for screenwriters for Bioshock 4. The vacancy requires experience with side missions and open worlds, which suggests that the next Bioshock will be less linear than its predecessors. WRC 10 celebrates the 50th anniversary of rally sport with retrospective fashion that allows you to relive 19 historic races. And that's it guys, you're back up to speed. Please leave a comment below if you like this kind of content and don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you never miss another upload. And I'll see you when I see you. That's awesome.